Over the decades, cinema has amassed a rich catalog of infamous one-liners. I'll be back. Here's Johnny! Okay, motherfucker. Get away from her, you bitch! Powerful monologues. I want him dead! I want his family dead! To do away with greed! With hate and intolerance! And outbursts of sheer brilliance. You can't handle the truth! King Kong ain't got shit on me! But what are the best movie lines of all time? After an exhaustive search through over a century of film, here is Fermented Cinema's top 10 greatest movie lines of all time. Number 10. For starters, we're looking at daily life, a situation we can all relate to as an audience. And what is more relatable than hunger? No line has better expressed the need for sustenance than that of Troll 2. What are you going to do to me, Daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains and your sister and mother will have to do likewise. This line is so natural that it comes as a surprise to know that the screenwriter's first language wasn't even English. Number nine. Who doesn't love an action one-liner? Better yet, who doesn't love an action one-liner that is both witty and not clunky at all? At number nine is Wesley Snipes' quick jab in Blade. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. This may surprise you, but this brilliant line was actually ad-libbed by Snipes himself. Number 8. Delivering exposition about characters in a film can be a challenge for even the most seasoned of writers. Yet, those behind the film Karen were able to subtly tell us everything we need to know about the lead male character without hitting the audience over the head with a hilariously stupid blunt hammer. You are a strong, beautiful, intelligent, and woke black man, which is why I married you. Did you get that? This has the same subtle craftsmanship as a hard right conservative Christian film. Some people are determined to see the worst and even the best of things. A big slap in the face to the true meaning of Christmas. Number seven. Continuing on exposition, we also need subtle hints cleverly woven into a film's dialogue to truly know who the villain is. Maybe there is no better example than Alien Private Eye for this accomplishment. Oh, Hitler, who art in hell? Help me find this desk! The villain is praying to a shrine of Hitler. Hitler was a very bad man, and very bad people admire him. Number six. From villain to hero, who doesn't love a good monologue? This is where the true masters of acting and filmmaking can flex the full width of their talents. We can think of no other cinematic duel that has brought more raw emotion and life to the silver screen than that of Shama, Shama, Sh Shamir Sh uh, and Matt Hannon in Samurai Cop. Now I'm telling these son of a bitches that we respect the Japanese of this country who are honest businessmen. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Now I'm telling these motherfuckers that if they continue killing our children, to make their precious millions that they deposit in their secret Swiss bank accounts. Counselor, before your lawsuit even gets off the court clerk's desk, I'll have their stinking bodies in garbage bags and ship them back to Japan for fertilizer. Got it? The passionate yet nuanced delivery, the move of every minute muscle having a purpose yet feeling so natural, the camera angles, the production design, all of it immerses the audience into this world. What does katana mean? It means Japanese sword. Number five. Sometimes the most powerful of emotions, such as joy and surprise, only need a few syllables to encapsulate the moment. Here, we are traveling all the way back to 1962 to the classic film, Iga. Yes, the titular character Iga has some gems of his own. But we are giving it to Arch Hall Jr. Wow, 
Howdy, wow, wow! How this talented, handsome young stud muffin never became a star, we'll never know. If I could just call you. Number four. To mix things up a bit for our number four, we decided to look at children's entertainment. There are many classic films geared towards a younger audience, with many classic moments that linger with us as we progress to adulthood. There is maybe no better delivery of dialogue in a children's film than Eric Estrada in Cool Cat Saves the Children. And where is Cool Cat? There he is! Hi everybody! While short, this line is delivered with the utmost of care, and Eric Estrada is clearly not drunk. Number 3 No list of great cinematic lines would be complete without the one-hit wonder Tommy Wiseau and his masterpiece, The Room. With so many classic lines to choose from... Hi, doggy. Oh, hi, Mark. What a story, Mark. We decided to go the pretentious route, and we chose his laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Number 2 Flirting is a challenge for most. Since Samurai Cop has already graced this list, we will not be revisiting the infamous horny nurse. Have you been circumcised? Yeah, I have. Why? Well, your doctor must have cut a big portion of it off. But instead, we are traveling to a galaxy far, far away for our number two. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. And what a number two this line is. No need to worry about desert sand anymore, Anakin. After that Duziva line, Padme is now as hot and steamy as an overcrowded Finnish sauna in winter. <laughs> number one. For our number one, there was no competition. It is every single word ever spoken on screen by the one and only Neil Breen. I cannot believe you committed suicide. I can't wait any longer. You are done. I'm done. Done. That's just not right. Straighten up. Ugh. We're both fucked up. I am the future. I never had a beard! Neil Breen is cinema. Everyone has the right to love and peace. And cinema will forever be Neil Breen. I'll be right here. Like, share, subscribe.